So in this lab we have lots of um, development of robots, uh, both hardware and software. And um, what I'm going to show you now is one of our robots, which is Dichi, which is an iCub robot. But if you look around the lab, you probably see some others. This is uh, Casper robot, which is used in autism research and various other um, uh, social research we do. This, uh, this one is a prototype robot called Charlie, which has been used quite extensively in science museums around the world, especially in Dublin. Um, and uh, we're continually developing that. But from here is the... Um, this is the iCub robot, and we call Dichi. You can see here, it's um, just looking at some uh, shapes and boxes. It's uh, learnt some of the shapes and names of these boxes through interaction with, with um, uh, human participants who have actually talked in that. We haven't programmed any of the names of this. This has been just purely from uh, learning through interaction with people. So, uh, for example, let's try and see if it recognises the moon shape. Moon. Yes, there you are. So it's... Uh, and now it's, sort of, it's looking around the table and sort of seeing things that it's learned. Uh, yeah, so, and, uh, yeah, so Dichi, Dichi, uh, the Dichi robot itself, the iCub robot, um, is quite an advanced machine. It has many, many ways of moving. It has very, uh, very close articulation. And one of the great things about it, it has a massive bank of uh, open source software repositories, which we can exploit. Uh, and so, therefore, we don't have to develop things from scratch. We can... Uh, use what other people have, uh, 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 have um, developed and of course they can use what we have developed as well and move the state of the art further on. Okay. Could you talk me through what we've just seen? You picked up a box, um, If we actually if we have a look at the boxes there's different shapes um, and the shape was recognised, the robot said out loud what, what we were actually yeah. looking at. Um, what's that process then that takes place for the robot to recognise it and how how's it learnt to do that? Uh, well, it's, it, 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 it works um, sort of at a number of stages, but at the early stage, the robot um, starts to babble. We're not showing you that today, but it uh, starts to babble, and uh, we have people who are not involved in research come in, talk to the robot as if it were a child, and try to, when, it, when they hear through the babbling that it's recognising certain, or they recognise certain sounds, which are, say, peculiar to English, so words in English, they would give the robot some reward by saying something like, well done, Dichi, or something like that. Now we pick that up and use that as a reinforcing signal to lock those words. But those words at that point don't have any meaning. And later on, people come back, and then we ask them to teach the robot about the shapes. And so they would, they would typically sit here and we'd ask them to say, try and teach Dichi what this is. And they could use different words for the same thing. So for example here, although Dichi in previous sessions has been taught the circle. word moon, you're seeing a circle there, um, but um, uh, other people for example would say, some people would say moon, some people would say crescent moon, and some people would say this is a smile. And so Dichi would learn um, that this is a smile as well as a moon. And so, uh, and it, basically it learns by sharing, a, a, it's a shared context, a shared attention space with a person. Dichi can't learn without uh, that person interacting with it. And actually similarly, people find it quite difficult. Um, not, they, they find it, I should put it the other way, they find it quite easy to interact with Dichi because of its embodiment, because it's, it has a human-like embodiment and it's quite a cute robot and they, they react to it as if it were a child. Whereas if it was just a blank computer screen, this doesn't happen. There's research to show that this doesn't happen. So the actual physical embodiment and the way Dichi shares the space with them and reacts to their movements, and reacts to where they're looking and what they're picking up, helps that process to happen. That learning process is biased. Basically.